guys um so i am already um doing my makeup but i just decided to jump in and film this look for you guys because i'm using my hip dot adam's family palette and i haven't really filmed any looks with this palette besides um the original Vit, like first impressions that I did with it so I was like you know what maybe I should film with this and do another look for you guys because I don't just use Halloween palettes and Adam's Family doesn't have to be just Halloween even though I'm using my Hocus Pocus mirror and I've been using this ever since I got it not just for Halloween but just because I love this mirror um because it's like the biggest handheld handheld mirror that I own um, so yeah, the first shade I'm using is the shade Beloved, which is this gorgeous, really grungy, dark, reddish color. Like, it's just so pretty and it goes so well with the plaid shirt that I'm wearing. So I wanted to start off with this shade. But I also need to realize that Hip Dot mattes build up really, really beautifully. And they are very pigmented. So I have to kind of you know, blend it out a little bit better than I usually would. Because, you know, you guys know I'm not the greatest blender in the universe, but I try to blend out what I can. So I'm just going to start out with that. Um, I did already prime my eyes, and I used the ColourPop Party Proof Eye Primer. I don't know why I always want to call this Party Poof. And then I just used my Skinny Dip Lip Oil and then my Dior Powder to set my eyes. Um, so the shade I just used was this shade right here called Beloved, and now I'm going to use, I don't know if I want to use the brown or the red. I think I'm going to do the red, which is Caramia, and I'm going to use that as my defining shade. And this is a really pretty, like, deeper red shade, and I'm just going to put that right here just to build up the dimension. And again, like hip dot shadows layer beautifully and they really just um, blend out really nice. It, they've been come, become one of my favorite formulas this year because um, I didn't try hip dot until this year and they were always on my list to try. And they make a solid eyeshadow formula. Um, so I'm just going to apply that here. So how are you guys doing? Sorry that this was kind of an impromptu intro and video, but I just thought I would just jump on here. I mean, I don't really have that much time, but whatever. I am getting ready for work. Okay, and then for the outer corners, I'm going to go into the brown, which is Seance. I'm hoping it's dark enough to use as a defining shade. If it's not, I'm probably just going to go in with the black. It's just because I haven't used this shade yet. I know, hard to believe I haven't used the matte brown in this palette. But I was going to use it on the crease for this, but I think it builds up enough for me to just get away with it as a outer corner shade. And I think that works. I almost said outer corner highlight. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, so how are you guys doing? Uh, Christmas is slowly creeping upon us. I feel like actually this month is going a little bit slower. Because I feel like last month we were just, I mean, me and my family were just counting down to Thanksgiving. And now we're just kind of counting down to Christmas. But Thanksgiving is always like our biggest holiday and always like has been more important to us than Christmas. Um, but like, there's always like a weird lull in between Thanksgiving and Christmas and it's like just dealing with like the chaos of like Christmas shopping and Christmas shoppers. So it's not like the, the best time ever. So yeah, I think I'm going to take just a tiny bit of this grayish black shade and I'm just going to put that a little bit on top just to add a little bit more dimension but not like completely cover up that brown shade yeah that's perfect just to add a little bit more depth 
So it kind of turned it into like a chocolatey deep brown. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, let me just put on some glitter glue. Okay, and now for the lid shade, I'm going to go into this red shimmer called Ghoul. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. It's such a pretty like sparkly reddish shade. Oh, it's so pretty. So I wanted to talk to you guys about some shows because I feel like we have not chatted about shows in a while. There just hasn't really been any shows I've been really watching myself. The only shows I've been watching now is like with my family. I just haven't found too many shows to binge. I've been watching a ton of movies though. Um, so the first one is this like food show on Netflix and it's called School of Chocolate. And I'm not going to say who won because I don't want to spoil it for people that haven't seen it. But it's just like, it's not a very, I love seeing like the chocolate work done by the master that teaches them like he's amazing and everything that he does is like mind-blowing and this class is like with a bunch of professional chefs they're not just like amateurs like the baking show that we love so much um and but the thing is that like he's not the best judge we feel like he's very biased and he also kind of just puts like all these dramatic twists into the judging like you have to pick who's on the bottom like he makes the chefs pick like who they think is the worst in the room and I don't really think that's fair I mean yes they're a bunch of professionals so they would obviously know like who's better and who's not but like we just th thought it was a little bit unfair to do that to them and the person that ultimately won, we didn't think deserved it as much as the other person that was in the running. Um, and we feel like he kept on giving this person, like, wins um, for things that he didn't even complete or the briefs that he didn't even, uh, um, that he didn't even do because his, t his flavor was so good. And... We're like, yes, ultimately it does come down to the taste of something. We get that. But it was just, like, annoying because it was, like, he didn't really... I mean, yes, of course, like, the person who deserves it the most should win 100%. But, like, it was just a bit annoying because, like, he wouldn't even complete the brief that he asked him to do. But he would give it to him because his dessert was so amazing. And we just thought that wasn't really fair. Okay, so let me just do my face. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face. If I could move my hair out of my face. As I'm spraying my ear. So, yeah, we just don't think the show is very fairly judged. Not that the baking show is always 100% fair, but we think that... They always give it to the person that deserves it the most in the end. Like, some people, like, don't love the finalists that are picked, but ultimately, the right person in the final usually always wins. Like, we've never really been disappointed with the actual winner of the show. Like, sometimes we'll be disappointed on who they eliminate because we're like, oh, we think that this person should have went home first over this person. But ultimately, like, that doesn't really matter in the end because the, usually the top three, most of the time, we agree with. Um, so we just think that that show is a little bit more fair. Also because of how a lot more people do watch that show over this newer show. I mean, it is, like, in the top ten on Netflix, I think. So I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation today. I just... I'm kind of over my foundations right now, like the ones that I wear for work, but I don't really wear this one as much as I would like. It's just not my favorite foundation. I do love how it initial, un, initially, <laughs> initially looks on my skin at first, but throughout the day, I don't love it. 
And since it's scented, it kind of bothers my skin a little bit. Like, not for the first couple of hours that I wear it, but, like, towards, like, the middle or end of the day that it'll start bothering me. But that's also because I wear a mask at work, so that could be, like, a very big contributing factor on why it's irritating me, but, like, my nose will irritate me regardless because I'm wearing a mask, so... And then people always ask me, why do you wear foundation underneath then? I'm like, because I want to. Like, if you wear makeup under a mask, am I gonna, you know, say that to you? No, my mom hates that I wear it, but she basically stopped saying anything because she knew I wasn't gonna stop, so... And I always wash my mask anyway, and it mostly comes out in the wash, so I don't know why it's such a big deal. So anyway, um... Then the other show we've been watching is this show on Amazon called, um, Amazon Prime, uh, called Wheel of Time. I'm using my, um, L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. Love this concealer. I already used up my Milani one, um, because I repurchased this concealer and the Milani one around the same time, and I already used up the Milani one. Um, and that's the second time I've yet actually used it up. So I was actually really surprised. I don't know if I actually 100% used it up. Let me say actually like a gajillion times. But um, every time I tried to get product out of the bottle the past couple of times that I've used it, there's like nothing that comes out on the applicator. So I don't know if it just dried out, but I find that highly unlikely because I used it a ton. And like I said, I have used it up before, so... I've used up like two concealers this year, which is good. It's more so than foundations. I think I've only used up like one foundation. Because, you know, I just wasn't wearing it as often. Especially if I just stay home and film. If there's a day I'm not working or seeing anybody. I'll stay home and film or I'll just do a live and then like run an errand or two. And I don't, don't always wear a foundation then, so... Um, but I always wear concealer, but it's always, like, a lighter concealer, so. So, anyway, we've been watching this show called Wheel of Time, and it's, like, a really hyped-up, like, fantasy show. It's kind of, like, you know, everyone tries to be, like, Game of Thrones at this point, and it's okay. Like, I do really like the effects and the fantasy and the scenery in it, but it's kind of, like, just a little graphic and I just feel like not that I don't like I know that most of these shows are going to be graphic but like it's just we already know what's happening there was like this one part that um this guy like has a dream and he has a dream that his wife is being eaten by a wolf I'm not going to go into the details but then like like, they show it, like, like that you show, they show the wolf and the feet first, and then they show, like, the whole thing on what the wolf is actually doing. And it's like, we already get what the wolf is doing without you even showing us what it's doing, so why is that necessary, you know? It's like stuff like that that just, you know, we didn't think it was going to be that graphic, but I don't know if, like, they're fantasy graphic novels... But, like, I feel like some of these things are just unnecessary at this point. Like, we know that Game of Thrones was, like, a graphic fantasy series. But, like, I still think, like, half the time that these shows just embellish and add these effects for, like, just to show, like, how much we can do. And it's just, like, unnecessary at this point. I, f I feel like it is. Um, but, like, the show is just, it's good. And I thought the first two episodes were better than this last episode that we just watched. Um, but we've been trying to get into it because we've been wanting to find, like, a new fantasy series. And honestly, my favorite fantasy series since... I mean, Witcher was really good, too. But again, it's graphic. My favorite series that came out was Shadow and Bone. I thought that was so well done. And it wasn't, like, all the graphic crap 
that was in the other shows, it was just a good show. Like, I can't wait for the next season. It was actually really good. So, I just don't know why they have to make these things so graphic all the time. It's, like, just unnecessary at this point. Okay, so, let me do my liner. So, I did get... Um, the ColourPop eyeliner set from the Cyber Monday, and I'm going to use, I might just use the same shade I used yesterday, but I think I'm just going to use, uh, the brown shade. I don't think I've actually used the brown shade yet. I've used the black and a couple of other, of the other colors, but I don't think I've actually used the brown, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll tell you guys the shade name in a minute, but it's like a really pretty rich warm brown shade what shade is this sunny veil so i actually haven't owned this one i did have a couple of brown liners from ColourPop in the past but i've never owned this one tell me if this was the one in the raw beauty christie collab no it's not because i have that one this is a different one dog caitlin you just answered your own question yeah, I think the brown is the one that I wanted, and it's really pretty. But I just thought that these tones were really pretty, and I feel like these are shades I'm going to use a lot because, like, the lighter shades are some metallic colors, and they're... I thought this was a really pretty set, and I think I'm going to get rid of most of my um, other liners anyway, so I wanted to get that set to replace some of the colors that I just... either are too dried out or they're just not very good, so... Let me just prime my lashes really quick. Okay, and then for my mascara, honestly, I've just been so back and forth with these two mascaras, so I'm just going to use my Patrick Ta Major Volume Mascara. The Honestly, the only, actually, the only three mascaras I've really been rotating is the ColourPop um, Lengthening Mascara, the Rare Beauty, and this one. So, they've been, like, my favorite mascaras. They're just all so good. This one I think I love even more than when I first got it. Like, it gives, like, such good length, and it's just so easy to apply. And it just, like, gives you instant volume and length, and I really like it. He makes good products. I decided to skip out on the blush palette, though. I just didn't need it. I thought it was really pretty, but... I just didn't need it. Okay. And then for the inner corners, we have some pretty silvery shades, but I think I'm going to go in with the silver, which is called Moon, just because I have, like, the gray in my hoodie. So I just want to go with that. I don't spill anything. That would be bad. I always try to drink at least one glass of water before I go to work because I always have coffee in the morning, so... I always make sure I have a little bit of water before I go to work because my throat is like so dry after I have coffee and obviously coffee makes anybody thirsty because it's probably because of the sugar that I put in it so oh god I google or always happens when I do my inner corner highlight Um, yeah, that's good. That is really pretty. It's like this really pretty, like, almost purpley toned silver. It's so nice. Yeah, that's better. Of course, there was more eye goo there. Okay. And let me just do my bottom lash mascara. Okay, and then for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Thrive bronzer. I've been trying to use this a little bit more instead of, like, my Dior or my Gucci because I really love the undertone of this one, too, and it's so pigmented. And I've still been using this damn powder brush from Lime Crime because I still haven't cleaned off the purple from 
the Ursula look that I did for Halloween on my bronzer brush, but I haven't used the brush since then, so, I mean, I don't know, I'm just so bad about cleaning my brushes, don't judge me. I do clean them, and when I clean them, they are all clean, so <laughs> I'm just bad at it. I'm bad at keeping up about it. Okay, and then for blush and highlights, I think I'm going to go into the same blush I used yesterday, and this is also um, a newer blush to me. So, and then I'm going to use the new highlight that I got. So, this blush is from Be Perfect Cosmetics, and it's called Scorched. First off, this packaging is humongous like very very thick packaging but I love how it feels very sturdy and very heavy duty so it does not feel cheap so I can appreciate that it's just a little bit bulky so hopefully I'll be able to store these easily um so the shade that I got for the blush is called scorch and it is so pretty I used it yesterday and I loved it it is so nice and pigmented and it just applies beautifully and I just thought and I just really wanted to wear it again. So I'm wearing it again. Um, and again, it's super pigmented. So it's pigmented, but not like scary pigmented. So you can like still build it up and it has like this really beautiful, like sheeny effect to the skin. It's just so pretty. I really, really like it. I almost wish that I picked up two shades of the blushes. I really like this formula already. So I picked these up from Beauty Bay during Black Friday because these have been on my list for a good month to try. And originally they had so a few quite a few shades had sold out on um on Beauty Bay of this because they were actually pretty popular. Um but then they actually had restocked these like a couple of days before Black Friday, so I was able to get the shades that I wanted. Okay, and then for the other highlighter, I picked up the Be Perfect Cosmetics Get Wet Creamy Highlighter for Face and Body, and this one is called, I guess it's just called Skin Sheen. Okay, is that the shade name? I don't think that's the shade name, but there's like a seal on this. I just want to cut that. Oh my god. I never get these things out of here. I always use scissors if I can't get it out with my nails. Because my nails always end up peeling back if I do that. Like my nail polish. So this is the Get Wet Highlighter. And yeah, I guess the shade is called Skin Sheen. And these are by Stacy Marie. Why can I ever open these things? I swear. It's always so complicated for me to open these kind of things. Oh my god. Can I get this open? You would think you just press it to open. There we go. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's very, very shiny and metallic. So we're just going to apply it and... Obviously, it's called Get Wet Highlighter because it's supposed to look wet on the skin. So, I don't know how much I need to take, but I didn't really see it come off on the brush, but I'm sure it'll... Wow, that is really pretty. It's very subtle, though, when you... It's actually more of like a buildable highlight. Let me see how it looks in this mirror. Hmm. Hmm. It's very sparkly. All right, let me see. I think I had to put on a lot more on my brush. And then I'm going to... Yeah, it's very glittery. Hmm. I might be applying this wrong. But it's pretty. Maybe I do need to wet it. But I don't really want to do that. I'm just going to apply it. That's very pretty, though. I can see like all the glitters reflecting so it is a lot of glitter though so if you don't love that about highlighters then you're probably not gonna like this but I don't mind glitter in highlighters I actually really like it sometimes just as long as it's you know highlighting 
and not like emphasizing texture. I usually don't really mind it at all. I don't know why my nose is so itchy. Okay, let's see. Um, it's pretty. I'm not like 100% in love with it. Let me wet it because I want to see if that changes the effect. I might be using the wrong brush too though. Um, it definitely helped make it more metallic. Yeah, it definitely helped smooth it out more when you wet it. Okay, that does look way better, actually. Uh, I, I guess I do need to wet it every time I use it. So, that's really nice. I think it's very pretty. It's not, like, blowing my socks off like I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was going to be a really, like, glossy, metallic sheen. I didn't think it was going to be more of like a glittery sheen. I think I prefer the highlighter that I used yesterday, which is one of the regular ones from Be Perfect. Um, I don't know where it is, but I'll you'll see it in my haul video whenever like my other orders come in because I'm just waiting for another two orders and I can finally film it. I already filmed like a part one to my haul. And then we're just going to do lips. Um, I'm just going to do it right now because I need to leave. So I'm just going to use this shade Oogie Boogie from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection because this is what's in front of me. And I honestly don't feel like digging for any other lipstick right now. So I'm just going to slap this on. Definitely need my mirror, I can't see. And this has been one of my go-to shades right now anyway. I love this color. Alright, so that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm just going to do my brows really quick, and then I need to go. So let me just do this, and then put in my brow gel, because i got to get out of here. I'm already taking too long. Um, so yeah, I really like how this look turned out. God. I feel like this e.l.f. wow brow kind of like dries out really quickly. I mean it actually is applying better than it used to but I feel like I just got this like not even like two months ago and I feel like it's kind of already drying out a little bit but <coughs> okay that's it for now. Here are the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. And we'll talk about my final thoughts about everything later. I didn't think I had quite a few things that were new to show you guys. So yeah, bye.